What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the tabs widgets on the Elementor WordPress page builder plugin, okay? So the free version of Elementor. But before you can start, please hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours so you can grow the channel and you can help the channel as well. So. After this, go to our WordPress dashboard, okay? And once on dashboard, you can navigate to the page that you want to apply the tabs widget on it. For example, go to WordPress dashboard, page, add new. Select the edit with Elementor button. So we can load the front end editor page of Elementor, okay? So this is the page. However, in the case that you want to edit one of the previously created pages on your website, go to the page that you want to edit. In my case, it's gonna be my home page, and to the top corner or into the top section of my site, next to the link section, you can see the button "Edit with Elementor." Okay, so right before your menu, click on "Edit with Elementor," and it gonna load the front end editor of Elementor into your front, into your page, okay? After the load option editor loaded, I'm gonna be applying my widgets right here. So, review the left side of menus on your WordPress website using Elementor and search for tabs. So, just type T-A-B. And here is the tabs, okay? Click on the element, hold your mouse button, drag it and drop in the place that you want on your page. In my case, it's gonna be right here. And as you can review, we already have two tabs. The tab eating one and two. And I can apply a new one. Let me change the title. If I click into the tab element, for example, right here, the tab title, I can see the option to change the title and description. So let me change tab three, tab number three. And in the case that I want, I can apply content right here. In this other one, I can, for example, apply some image. Okay, I can click into the add media. Let me apply the visual model logo, for example. Awesome. And from content, we are ready, good to go. In the case that I want to apply another kind of element right here, you can go to our global templates and copy the short code to paste right here. I'm gonna explain this in a future video in the case that you want, okay? Just leave in the comment section in the case that you want to learn this. After content positioned, after you already have all the contents that you imagined for your tabs style, you can change the position from horizontal to vertical. Okay, so here is the option. I like the vertical, but let me keep the horizontal. And the alignment of the tab, for example, to start to middle, to the end, and justify it, okay? I think that the start one works well, and the same happens from the for the for the vertical one. However, we need to we would need to have more contents in order to show this, okay? After this, properly edited, we can move to the style tab, okay? The very first option, it's the border widget. So we can increase the widget in the case that we want or decrease it. We can change the border color in the case that we want as well. We can change the background color in the case that we want. You can change the title starting with the color, okay, so the title color.
the active color, so the tab that you are reading on color. You can change the typography, okay? So click on it. And you can see all the typography settings, the size, the wage, the transition, the style, the decoration, the line H, the line spacing, the word spacing. The text stroke. The text shadow. And on the content, we can change the content color. For example, if you have set a darker background, you can use a lighter test, okay? But in this case, I think the dark color as well. Same for typography and text shadow. Let's try to make the background of the tabs a dark color and the content into the tabs, okay? The content text into a lighter color, okay? Go to style into the very first option, tabs, background color. Let's set a darker color and for title, scroll down and for content into the color, set a light color. Simple, easy and effective. After this completed, you can go to the advanced tab in the case that you want and play with spacings like margin and padding. As we did explaining in another video tutorial from the Visual Moro YouTube channel, okay? So, it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress team and our awesome blog full of WordPress tutorials, guides, tips, and many more things for designing a great website with awesome tools on it. In addition, in the case that you are in need of an amazing free WordPress team and an awesome free WordPress plugin, go to visualmoto.com or go to wordpress.org and search for Enzo WordPress team and borderless WordPress plugin. Those options are great for you so you can start with amazing website for free, okay? And in the case that you want to choose from any of those amazing pre-built websites so you can start from a ready website with one click only, go to visualmoto.com and review the pro versions of our Borderless and Enzo plugins, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best!